We don't stop until we create amazing. Welcome back. We're looking through the newspaper front pages as they come in with American journalist Daniel Costello and France 24's Benedict Pavio. Hello to you again. Uh, we're going to kick off uh, this section with the mail and uh, returning to the story of those photos. The photos. <laughs> They, Which they photos? Photos? What, 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 what are we talking about? To? I mean, yes. Oh, a man whose name begins with H. Yes. Uh, yes. And he's yes. third in line yes. to the throne. That, yes, that exactly. is the one. Right. Well, apparently he's going to get a dressing down, no play on words, by the Daily Mail okay. from his father. Yeah. How the Daily Mail knows what Charles is going to say to his son well, is... What does uh, he say to him? Well... I, I want to be a fly on that wall, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, um, they, they, they've had a conversation already, haven't they, apparently? Yeah, on I guess the, they are saying that, yeah. Well, on the phone. phone. But this one is apparently he's been summoned now... Um, From Los Angeles. ...face to face. Yep. Yep. Uh, he's back in the country. Yep. Um, and I think, well, what the Daily Mail thinks it knows is that um, he will be told that his father has concerns about his security. Um, so I suppose they're referring to the fact that it would seem, allegedly, that Harry invited... Uh, particularly young women that he didn't know. Allegedly uh, 15 women that he didn't know. Correct. Yeah. Throw in quite a few allegedly's in there, yeah. Dan. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Um, and, um, but the other aspect as well is, and it's very tantalizing, so I've just got the front page of the Daily Mail, but it would seem that Prince Charles is also going to agree a line of defense with his son about and it must be referring to the sun. Yeah, yeah, the publication uh, what's of the, done it the again photo by, by the publishing sun. those pictures is what line do you take? Mm. Um, and there's a letter in the Independent from the editor of the Independent, Chris Blackhurst, who is uh, explaining the, his decision not to publish the photos and saying that in his, you know, it was every paper's choice. He wasn't doing because he was uh, afraid of the palace or intimidation. He said on its merits, he didn't feel that this uh, was in the public interest, and he thought it was an invasion of privacy. I mean, I, I think. You know, I, I can understand post-Levinson that papers are afraid to overstep their bounds, and, and that's a clear argument. I'm not sure that this case is the best. No, it's not the best yeah, I mean, it's example, not. I mean, it's, it's, really, not, the, it's you, not the highest form of journalism. And, but when you analyze it, when you it, analyze it's the best it. And, and I do think because the photos were already on the Internet, there's a practical test here, and the practical test was far surpassed. I mean, we, you know, in the, in the U.S., I think I got you know, five emails within minutes saying go to TMZ. I mean, half of America watched this, saw those is, photos within 15 this minutes. This is a really, really hot story in America, isn't it? Oh, because they view him as a celebrity, where, whereas perhaps we make the distinction between celebrity and royalty. But for them, he's fair game as any celebrity. As any celebrity, exactly. And, but and with he, the added spice that, uh, come on, Americans are pretty gaga, as a lot of French people are, yeah. about the royal family. Mm. They them. have a, its mega yeah. celebrity status. And here. I think they've only gotten yeah. bigger in the last two years. I mean, mm. I think he and his brother have only helped the brand. Uh, and so, in many ways, yeah. you know, their, their increased interest is somewhat of their success. At the same time, he was in Las Vegas. He was at a pool party. You know, he invited people, 15 people he didn't know, back to his hotel room. And those parties are crazy. I mean, there's thousands and thousands of people in the pool all day long. And... Lots of, you know, You sound uh, like things. you've been to them. No, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> never, never, never. But, you know, and, and I, I do think that there are a few corners of this which are um, an interesting discussion. Like, d is, was, where was his security detail? Is, mm. is their role to police him and make sure that well, not only is he safe, but is he... Well, protect his life, not yeah. tell him how to live it. Yeah. I mean, that's what they would say in their defense. Yeah. Or do you think that their role but should be I, to yeah. advise him if they think something is, is, is slightly dodgy? I think it's hard. I think that I think it, you know a base, a minimum uh, test, and I'm guessing this will be, be going forward, is to make sure that if there are people in his hotel room at three in the morning, all having fun, that no one has a cell phone on them. You know, and I mean, I think that that is probably not. Uh, well, some of the papers are saying that at some point one of the protection officers said, <coughs> "Oh, come on, you know, no pics," but didn't go any further than that. Mm. One of the aspects of this letter of Chris Blackhurst, I think, is, that is quite interesting is um, that he says that the son's defence just doesn't work because, he, as you were saying, Dan, not only was didn't he feel threatened uh, by the palace or by the PCC, uh, but really it's quite a strange situation, uh, and that the only reason possibly. Uh, well, the reason, main reason he, they didn't publish, they the Independent, uh, was because they felt this was a breach of trust and this was from the people at the party and that this really was a private thing. I think the last paragraph is quite scathing uh, because it says, and yes, it did feel odd seeing the sun standing up for press freedom when the activities of that very paper, I quote here, and its late News of the World sibling have done so much to imperil that same 
press freedom. So one can already feel the rivalry. It, and uh, Chris Blackhurst talks about how uh, it's completely simplistic to think that everybody is talking to everybody in the media and agreeing some sort of line, as if the British press was now cowed because of the left mm. inquiry obviously in waiting for the report. Uh, he's saying he didn't feel cowed at all. He did it on, on merit and on balance and on merit. He, uh, the editor of The Independent, felt that this was not justified. If people want to see the pictures, they can see them all over the internet. But, but the problem it, will be is that this is, whether it's Prince Harry or somebody else, this is a very tricky situation, not just now, but the internet has changed the game yeah, completely. Absolutely. And, and it's how not governed in the same way no. as newspapers I mean, are. in many ways, I think that this is... Yeah, you know, I think uh, uh, Chris uh, Blackers is a great editor. I think, you know, I love The Independent and, and, and I love newspapers in general. Um, but I think that this right here, this column, and I think the issue in general, is a bit of navel-gazing. And it's a bit outdated. I mean, these images were online. The entire world saw them the day before. And in some ways, this is, this, this point is, is um, I, I just don't think that it's all that interesting a day later. I know. wouldn't At a minimum, agree. it's just not that Dan, interesting. Do you I agree with me or you disagree with me? Not today? quite. Yeah. Because um, living in this country for a long time, yeah. it's not navel-gazing. It's really looking at itself as an industry, thinking, how do we survive? And in a sense, look, the pictures are everywhere, but the only island on which it's not, a country, is in the British Isles. Yeah. Whereas uh, in Ireland, it was published. You know, you yeah. could put one foot on, right. on side in Northern well, Ireland, Irish you couldn't see them. That, uh, but in the Irish Republic, you could. Here, so it's very... Yeah, right. I mean, incidentally, just very quickly, do you agree that the pictures should not be published? I think Dan? they should be published. Uh, and what about you, Benedict? I think, I think yes, the freedom of the press. I yeah. think they can be published. Yeah. And I'm afraid that in the real world, he is third in line to the throne. Of course, he's entitled to believe that people who are partying with him, that there is trust. But I think in, you know, look, these girls have sold their story to yeah. the Daily Star. They yeah. ran Max the Clifford yesterday. Get the, the star up for you. Know, you. Yeah. Uh, and that takes the, the story uh, one step further. These are actually um, actors or people that they've got into stand in for the photo. This is not a photo of Prince Harry. But this takes the story onto another level, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, well it's and it's naive to think that, unfortunately, there will be people who are, you know, who will be seeking, apart from the security aspects of that, um, <coughs> they're all naked, so they're not going to be carrying weapons. Um, but there is a whole security it's aspect to it. It's and yes, sad. Harry, you are third in line to the throne, <laughs> and you've done some amazing work for charity and some, uh, you know, quite extraordinary work um, for the brand, as you called it, yeah. or the firm, as it's yeah. apparently called, yeah. within the family. But you are third in line to the throne, and ben you're about to be 28 and that's the life that you lead. Benedict Choose your friends carefully. Yes, said, absolutely. For the moment, thank you very much. Uh, don't forget more of the front pages in Sky News at 10. Plus, our full press preview is at 11.30 and we'll look inside tomorrow's newspapers with the royal author Kate Williams and Jonathan Isabi. Stay with us. Love your home this autumn with Homebase. This weekend, there's a 15% off event 